Deep Dive Gaming. Hello, people, and here we are once again in Abernathy Farm, resuming our discussion of the settings that have changed and whatnot now that we are in a post HQ 2.0 world. Um, and on our last video, if you tuned in, we covered some of the changes, some of the things we've I've learned through playing Sim Summons 2 since that patch came out. And now we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the local C local settings for Sim Summons 2. So local city plan settle, city plan settings can be found through either the holotape or through the city planner's desk. And because this seems to be bugged and broken, we're going to knock it out of the park for right now. Or at least cancel its construction. There we go. That shot it up. Okay, so if you remember correctly, we did a basic city plan for... Did I say Abernathy Farm earlier? I meant to say Sunshine Tidings Co-op. So, again, we're in Sunshine Tidings Co-op. And we have set a basic city plan, and um, we had some. We've done some settings here to make this behave differently than the other city plans that we have. I believe. Let me check my map really quick. So we have a city plan here. We have. I think these two are. I'm building on my own. Sorry, it's been a month. I've forgotten some of this stuff. I think we have a city plan here, and this, I know we've got a city plan here. This particular one is fully automatic. There shouldn't be anything that we have to mess with here. I'm going to have to go check on this one after we go through the, one, the settings for Sunshine. So we'll go into here. We'll go to Options, Gameplay, and then Local Settings, and then in here, um, before I get going, I want to mention that there are some, there appear to be some overrides f um, from the global settings to the local settings. There seem to be in local settings some things that are not set through global, global settings. So my recommendation is to, regardless of what you've got set for your global, before you start a city plan, come into the local city plan settings for and make sure that you have a clear picture of what's going to go on in that settlement so that there are no surprises if a, if a setting in local is overriding a global or is doing something that isn't covered in the globals. Um, acknowledge build limit, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Agricultural water requirement, that's also self-explanatory. Like I, a lot of these you see in the globals, but, like I said, it's good to make sure that you know what you're getting. So, city plan, change plots, and upgrade designer's choice, dynamic needs, yep, that's what I expected. Actually, let's see, where is the option for involvement? Self-power, city plan, objects, we're going to turn this on, our last video. We saw where well, we talked about how city plan, depending on whether or not you want to spend time troubleshooting why certain city plan, city plots are not developing or not producing. It's easier if you take the city, if you take the uh, power grid out of the equation. Okay, so local settings doesn't cover the immersion levels uh, or rather the involvement levels that's under city plan and so this should be under local settings but it's not and I think it applies per settlement so this is something I invite you to investigate and we'll be doing a little bit of that here because this particular settlement we wanted to manage. We wanted to have a pretty high level of 
participation in this one. So we'll go to game uh, city building. We'll go to involvement and we'll set this one to full. Okay. So that set. Let's go ahead and take a trip over to Ten Pines to see if that changed at all. Find the city plan. Oops. Okay. So here's a trick some of you may not know about. So if you go to the city manager tools, go to ASAM tracking, you can find the man find the management desk if it's been misplaced, or you've got a city plan and you're not sure where the city planner put it. So here we are over here. Okay. Oopsie. So we gotta put that. Turn that off again. Okay, and then we're gonna come into here. We can go to tools. Nope. Sorry, options, gameplay, city building. See what this says set to involvement. Involvement set to full here. So here's where local settings come into play. We actually don't want full involvement, so we need to be sure to come in. So local settings, we need to go through these. Um, agriculture water requirement, we want that's off. That's what we want for no involvement. Assignment requirements, we want this off. That's off. Auto assignment is on. That's good. Uh, uh, auto pay city plan costs is on. That's good. Auto pay pot clock costs is on. These are not relevant to this conversation. Um, upgrade costs require certain costs to build depending on level. Okay, that's off. That's fine. That's upgrade costs. That's not the auto pay setting. It's just whether or not it costs anything to do upgrades. And we have it off, which is good. Um, limit recruitment by city plan. That's on. We want that on. Plot operating costs. We want that off. That's off. Upgrade costs. Also off. Good. So resource storage defense. That should be off. That's off. Self power city objects is on is off. We actually want that to be on. We may have to reset a couple of these settlements. So settler diseases that should be off. Check. Visitor. Let's see. Special stats effect plot output. Let's turn that off as well. And then visitors, we can leave that alone. Okay. So now that we're sure of our settings for this place, we're actually going to go ahead and do a reset of the city plan. You can come in. Oops, I walked away. Reset of the city plan. We're going to activate the manage city feature. We're going to come down here to refresh city plan. And then you want to make sure to say yes, refresh everything because this will do as it says. Layout will be scrapped and recreated. Scrap profiles for layout will be reapplied to remove unwanted little objects. So if we've got stuff that we built in here, I think it'll be torn down. City plan will be redone. So let's watch this happen really quick. This happens. Actually, this used to be pretty bad. Like this took forever to do. Um, a lot of improvements have been made in this aspect of the game, of the mod, and I'm very appreciative of that because there are cases where you just have to burn it all down and rebuild it back up from scratch to fix issues you, you might have. And I, I, my theory is that the added benefit is if you changed your city plan settings, they will not take effect until you take this step. So we should see everything start building and nothing require materials to build. I'm going to do a time lapse here to let this build up. I'll perch somewhere high where we can see everything going on. All right, here we are back again. I had to actually reload from before we came over here and come in and restart the city plan, refresh, 
because I had some script lag interfering. So we have everything built up. We get this report when the re settlement refresh is completed with like the time it took to do it. So you can see here it actually went pretty quick. I should asterisk this with a, with saying that this was a basic core mod city plan. So bigger city plans or more complex city plans will take more time to refresh. But the uh, scripting seems intact to have this happen pretty effectively nowadays. So um, if you need to refresh a city plan because you change settings or something just doesn't seem right, you can do it and it shouldn't take too long. If you're on a lower grade system computer, it might take longer, but I still say it should be doable. So let's go ahead and exit this. Um, let the city plan start building. You can already see we got construction underway. And then we'll also want to check, make sure we've got power. So here's the thing. That's not, that hasn't happened yet. These all should have power and they do not. Partly, I think, because we don't have a municipal plot for power. Um, partly because this thing seems to be... I'm not sure if it was a bug that caused this, or if it's just we don't have enough power. I mean, the meter says everything is powered. Let's try a different, check a different plot here. One that's actually built, being built. Oh, come on now. Okay. So this plot's actually being built, so and it is, does have power. So yes, I was looking at this one. It was unpowered because no one's there. So as soon as you see a plot being built, it should have power. All right, so we've done that. We will let this place build itself up. And then I want to check on... Ooh. I don't know, I can't remember if I did one for Outpost Z or not, so let's check that out really quick. Okay, I've done something here, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's probably another city plan. Yeah, okay, so... We'll not, on camera, check this one. Um, because it's probably also set to be automatic, like the previous. So, let's check one more site. I've got one more settlement that's... Um, being built. This is either me or city plan. This one. This one's got markers that tell me it's me building this one. See the concrete's lined up with the sidewalk here. I've got a, I've got a uh, foundation here without any plots on it. This one is definitely my doing. Okay, so we know that. So, in conclusion, I will, I will amend something I said previously, being that the city involvement setting is a global setting, but it is overridden by local settings. So, you can have your global setting to be zero involvement, low, medium, or heavy involvement, but if you want to have a city plan that differs from the others, you need to make sure to check. My method going forward is going to be have the uh, global setting for city involvement be at So under city building the involvement setting. I'm going to have that, um, my default is going to be having that to full. And then before I actually initiate construction of the city plan, I'm going to go into the local settings. And I'll show you where that is one more time. So you go into the city, the desk, you go to options, you go to gameplay, and then you go to local settings. If you set something here that overrides global, it will only be at this settlement that it happens. But you can have a bunch of stuff. If you decide you want to not worry about water in the settlement, you can do it there. If you don't want to worry about people being assigned to places where they can't actually function, you've got all these 
You got all these, you can change the behavior of individual city plans that override the global settings that you have in the, that you have through either the holotape or through MCM or even through the city planner's desk. So with that, I think I'm done. Let me check. Okay, yeah, this is something I'm going to probably go into in the next video. The, doing these quests actually unlock advanced security plots. The one, the one by one security plots that I can lay down are only capable of general security um, or martial plots. They, only, they can only do level one security. Um, through doing the CPD quests, I unlock one by one advanced plots. And then I also unlock a second advanced plot for the two by two plots. So I'm going to pursue that in the next video. Let me check one other thing that Jake is not waiting for me somewhere. He is waiting for me somewhere. Okay. We'll have to do that one after we start the CPD. Let's see. What else? Oh, uh, West Everett Estates. We'll not worry so much about that. Eventually, we'll, we'll probably be doing these other ones off camera. The Brannigan Bounty, that's the Sims Elements 2, so we'll do that one on camera. And then, for now, we're good. So, I thank you for returning and watching more of these. Please smash the like. Please smash the subscribe. We are over 50 uh, subscribers on YouTube, and I would love to see that number. We'll set a smaller goal for now. I was a little ambitious in the last video. Let's aim for 75. Let's see if we can get to 75, because if we can, we'll be pretty good. Um, I also have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash deepdivegaming where I play Sim Settlements 2. I play, um, well, I play Fallout 4 with the Sim Settlements 2 mod, and I build, and I go through the, the Sim Settlements 2 quest line. Uh, I do other things as well. I have more than just Sim Settlements 2 in, as one of the mods. I have a few others that I like to feature. So come check me out there. Follow me on Twitch. Until the next video, Enjoy playing Fallout 4 with Sim Summons 2, and bye-bye!